Many of us are familiar with several of the events that transpired during the Old Testament period. We've heard the stories of creation and the flood and the calling of Abraham and slavery in Egypt and even the conquest of Canaan, the monarchy, and, and all those uh, important stories that play such an important role in Israel's past. What we often don't know too much about are the centuries leading up to the time of Christ, especially the period, about a 600-year period, between the Babylonian exile and then the arrival of Jesus in the first century, the birth of, uh, in, well, the birth of Christ and then his ministry in the first century then. And uh, thankfully, we do have a few books in the Old Testament that actually provide the historical record of several of the events that took place during this period, especially during the beginning uh, stages of that 600-year uh, period from exile to Christ. And one of the most important works is actually Ezra, and Ezra is going to describe the return of exiles back to the homeland, back to the promised land in Jerusalem. And we know from the Old Testament that they actually went in stages, not just all at one time like the first exodus. Uh, but during this second so-called exodus, we have uh, them come back in different waves, first under Zerubbabel and then under Ezra. So the book of Ezra will actually, you can kind of divide it up into two major segments. The first half is going to describe Zerubbabel's effort to uh, rebuild uh, the city of Jerusalem to lead God's people, and then the last uh, about four chapters of Ezra describe Ezra's own work. Uh, now, you could be tempted to think that this work is just simply a historical uh, account of uh, ancient history, but it's much more than that. Ezra is going to remind the people of how important it is to return to the law. God's people had neglected the law. They were unfaithful to him. They had often fallen into idolatry and uh, the influence of the pagans all around them. And so Ezra recognizes this, and he calls the people back to fidelity to the law, back to faithfulness to the law. And Ezra 7.10 is an important passage. We like to uh, quote this passage quite a bit around here. It says that Ezra devoted himself to the study and observance of the law of the Lord and to teaching its decrees and laws in Israel. So in addition to the, the importance that Ezra places on faithfulness to God and faithfulness to his commands. There's also a lot we can learn about human history and especially God's sovereign hand over all of human events. And it's reassuring to know that no matter what the headlines may bring tomorrow, God's promises are ultimately going to be fulfilled. Not even human rulers could get in God's way, could thwart God's plan. And so we find that in Ezra, we find that all of God's promises actually are trustworthy and he is faithful no matter what circumstances we may face in our lives.